Hello my planner pals and welcome back and if you're new here then thank you for joining me and giving me a try. Today we have a Canva tutorial and we are creating a book tracker. Now this is just being an insert into your planner that you can use to track your books. You know I'm sure you've seen them with the little shelves and the books on them and I'm just going to show you how you can do it in Canva. So Canva is a free program. I pay for the pro version because I can use some of the pro items. And for me, it is 100% worth it. If you are thinking about using Canva and you're like on the fence, here's my advice. I would sign up for the monthly thing, see how much you use it, and then sign up for the year if you're going to use it for the year. But you can make a ton of things in a month and then just cancel. <laughs> I'm just saying. You can just make a ton of things for a month and then just cancel. But I'm going to come up here to create design. Click create design and I want this on a letter size sheet because that is the sheet of paper that I am printing on. So I'm just going to come down to letter and it will open a new document that is a letter size sheet right here. All right. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to elements because I know that this sheet is not the same size as my classic Happy Planner. If I was using the big Happy Planner, this would be perfect, but it's not. So I'm gonna come over here, come to Elements, click Lines and Shapes. I'm just gonna pick this purple box here, and I'm gonna make it the same size. I'm just gonna take that little draggy thing at the bottom there, and I'm gonna make it the same size as my Happy Planner, which is 9.25 by, seven i'm going to drag it out there to seven and then i come up here to position click center middle and now it is in the center so that is going to stay right in the middle of my sheet all right now i know that it's purple right now but i want it purple so that i know where my things are going to be on my sheet i know that this is the light the area of the sheet that i want to print Okay, so I'm going to come over to here. Again, I'm in Elements, and you can see that I've already been using some here, but I'm going to just click on here and look for Bookshelf. Click Bookshelf. You want Graphics. All right, so the little thing here that you see, and it says Pro, that means that you have to have the Pro version of Canva to download and print this out. You still can use it, and have it on your page but when you come to save it it will tell you it usually has like a if you're on the free version it'll have like a copyright thing all over it but yeah you still can use it you just won't be able to download it so you can use each individual thing and pay for each individual item each individual graphic or you can pay per month or per year so you can take some of these, but I'm going to show you how you can look for the free stuff. So if you're just using the free version, you come up to this little symbol up here, this little graphic, and you click free. Apply filter, and now it will only show you the free stuff. Now you can already see here that there are some bookshelfy type things. Now personally, I don't like the look of these, but you know, you might like the look of them and they might be okay for you. I just personally don't like them that much. They look a bit scribbly. I'm just going to scroll down and see what else there is. And there's also this one that you could use. And you could just do something like this. And I know it looks a bit weird right now, but I'm just building it out to here. Remember this bit over here on the left, this won't print. So, you know, you just figure out, but you've got this peachy color, come up to here, change that to white, and then you've just got that black and white image. And that might be your book tracker, if you're doing the free version. So because I am doing the pro version, I'm going to use some that I found earlier. Now, this was the one that I found earlier that I kind of liked. I liked this. I like this. This is the kind of vibe that I like. So if this is the kind of vibe that you like and you're like, okay, I found something that I like. I like this image. 
I'm just going to put that there for now. If you're in Canva, you can come to that same image, which is right here on the left here. Click the three little dots and then see more like this. And it will show you all of the stuff that are exactly like that. And you could have maybe that is your book tracker. Right. Maybe you have this little cart thing and that is your book tracker but I'm going to choose I like the I like the shelf look I like the shelf look so I'm going to choose that I'm going to choose this one and I'm just kind of making them kind of the same size and by size I'm more talking about the width of the bookshelf here the depth of the bookshelf I'm going to choose that one what else have we got like the one with the little light on it let's take that one and then look, this one is the other different one, I think. Is it? Yeah, that's another different one. So we've got this one. So I'm just doing those towards the edge of this page, as you can see, because again, this purple area is what I'm going to cut on my paper trimmer. So I kind of like that. Anybody else kind of like that? I might make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to click, 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 click. And just make them just a little bit smaller. I want them to fit on my page and give me enough border on the edge to cut out. The other thing that I don't like is the fact that these two plants here on these two shelves are directly above one another. So I'm going to move those and put that one there. All right, I like that. I like that. Anybody else? So yes, that's what we're going to do there. And then I'm, I want to put here book tracker or something. So I'm going to come over to text. Now, I use this one quite a lot, this happy birthday one. And I know, you know what? It says happy birthday. Click it, select ungroup. And then I'm going to put this as tracker. And this I'm going to change to book. And then that will come up there. And that will come down there. I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller using the, the binding corner things. <laughs> Very technical die. All right. And then we have a book tracker page. Again, if you want to make this smaller, all you want to do is select all of the things. And you're just going to click, shift, click. Shift click, shift click, shift click, shift click. And then just make the corners a little bit smaller. Just so that I've got enough room so that if I want to bind it on this edge and put the discs here, I can. If I want to do this edge, I can do this edge too. So that is going to be my book tracker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this one. Click it. It's purple. Come up here. Change it to white. And you are good. Now when you come to want to download it, you're going to come up here to share, download, and it's going to suggest some different things. I don't want a PNG. I'm going to do PDF. So I'm going to do PDF, and then it's only one page, so that's fine. And then I click download. You could save it as a JPEG. You could save it as whatever you want. I will be giving you this as a download, and I will even include little crop marks where you can cut your own so yeah that is what you do and I will show you in a second what that looks like all right so as you can see here this is my downloads and this is my book tracker I'm going to double click this it will open the book tracker I come up here to print here's the key point here I don't want to put this to printable area I don't want it to 100% what I want is actual size because if I printed this to printable area or any other thing, these crop marks are going to be in the wrong place. The whole thing will be a different size to what I have designed. If you have a PDF that is for classic size, you need to make sure that you're printing it actual size. OK, the actual size. I'm going to print and I will see you at my craft table. And this is the finished product. So again, if you sign up for my email list, you probably will have already gotten this today, but 
Those are the crop marks. This will be available as a download again for my email list. So I will leave a link in the description down below. Get on my email list. I'll be giving out more things like this. All you have to do is get your paper trimmer, punch it, and then put it in your planner. Alrighty, and that is the reading tracker. All you have to do then is just come in, put a little writing in each of the books that you've read each week. If you are looking to purchase this along with the rest of my reading tracker, then I will leave a link in the description and an image here of the full details of what you get in my book tracker set. If you just want this page, then get on my email list because this is the freebie that I gave out today on my email list. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, then give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you next time, my planner pals. Bye.